Nassau, Bahamas is often viewed as an expensive port stop, as it is one of the largest and most visited cruise terminals in the Caribbean. Today, we're going to try and shatter that label and show you how you can do Nassau on a budget. So stick around and find out how you too can save money on your next stop in Nassau. Hey, Chris, I got an idea. Yes. Let's have some fun today here in Nassau. Everyone talks about how expensive it is here. Yeah. Let's have a challenge. What do you think? A challenge? A challenge. Like what? All right. So what every, do you got here? Big thing. Everyone talks about how expensive it is. You know what we've got for cash here? We've got 50 bucks. 50? We've got 50 bucks. Okay. All right. That's it. And what are we going to do with Here we this? go. With that 50 bucks, you and I are going to do an activity. Okay. Get something to eat, something to drink, and a souvenir. And we're only going to spend $50. I want to prove that you can do NASA on a budget. All right. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Let's, all right. Let's see if we can get this done today. We just got the all clear. Let's go. Yeah. I think we're running low on money anyways. <laughs> So we got to do it for 50 bucks or less. So, okay, cool. We'll try it. Let's get going then. Busy day here. There are five ships. Five other ships. We're number six. Ours. We're number six. So there's a lot of ships here today. So that means a lot of people. We'll look around the port a little bit first, but then from there we'll go and do our activities. And uh, as the afternoon goes on, we'll, we'll try and get our food and, and um, our challenge that we challenge challenged, accepted. challenged each other on and try and get that tackled before we have to get on the ship. It's a short day today, roughly around five hours before we want to be back on the ship. So not a big, a big day by any means. All right, that's a cool boat. Never got real up close to a tugboat before, have you? I don't think so. We stopped for a quick photo op in front of the large video display that was part of the recent renovation at the port. We exited the port and started walking towards our first destination. On our way, we decided to make a quick stop at Parliament Square, which is only a two minute walk from the port. It was built by loyalists in 1815, and the government still occupies these buildings today. At the center of the square sits a statue of Queen Victoria that was placed in 1905. This cannon looks really cool. Wow, this building, part of it, okay, to commemorate the creation of the General Assembly, first meeting of that assembly in 1729. Parliament Square. Well, look at that structure with the dome on the top. It's uh, the library and museum. Library and museum, So that's cool. what the sign says on the other side. Let's see what this has to say. Grateful memories of the son of this colony who made sacrifice in the Great War. So First World War. Oh, this, and then over here There's they've got World side. War II. Huh? World War II is there. World War II on this side? Okay. Okay. My one activity I just challenged Anne is uh, we're going to walk to the Queen's staircase and hopefully make it up. But we're going to go there first as our one activity. On our way to the Queen's staircase, we missed a turn and ended up getting a little bit lost. We missed our turn shown here in blue and friendly locals instead directed us to what ended up being the top of the Queen's staircase. Since we were at the top, we decided to go to Fort Finn Castle first. Fort Fincastle, found it. There might be an entrance fee, we don't know. Seven dollars. Seven dollars, which included a drink. Which, yeah, we got two drinks out of it. All right, here we are at Fort Fincastle in Nassau, Bahamas. It costs $3 each to get in. 
Seven, well, I'm sorry, 350. 350 seven total, yeah. Which included a bottle of water. So we got two of our things ready to go. And uh, now we're going to explore the castle. Oh, well, this is cool. Built 1901. Oh no, that's a picture from 1901. This was about a five minute video that gave the history of the fort. Ammunition was stored in this room as it was the most sheltered room in the place. Fort Fincastle was built in 1793 by Lord Dunmore and its purpose was to protect Nassau from pirates. Okay, how about we run upstairs now and see if we can see out the top of the fort. there. Yeah. That's Atlantis up there. And actually our cruise ship is behind the Royal, behind right the behind Disney there. one. Just notice something on how cool this was. You can see right here the wheels on this track. So to reposition the, the cannon, they would just wheel around on this arch and it could get multiple positions with that cannon. And at fin, Fort Fincastle, there's also a lot of knickknacks you could buy, and as well as pigeons, apparently, but... We made our way back down the hill, and then we finally saw the sign for what we were looking for, the Queen's Staircase. The Queen's Staircase, commonly referred to as the 66 Steps, was carved out of solid limestone rock by slaves between 1793 and 1794. It provided a direct route from Fort Fincastle down to Nassau. These steps were later named in honor of Queen Victoria, who reigned in Britain for 64 years from 1837 to 1901. Okay, two activities done now. We got Fort Fin Castle done, and we just got done with the Queen's Staircase. So now we are on to activity number three. We are at activity number three, called Gregory's Arch. The arch is chiseled out of stone with beautiful natural limestone adorning each side of it. It was named after Governor John Gregory and opened in 1852. Just look at the, the pattern of the rocks. Hey Ann, is this like, like limestone here? I think so. Okay, that was activity number three. So from here, I think we're gonna go try and grab something to eat. We've still got about what, $43 to work with? Something like that? Yep. So we will now Hopefully have a little bit left after we eat to buy some souvenirs. We are at Captain Vinny's Hideaway. We've got the straw market here to my right. Uh, so we're kind of like in an alley between that. And then over here is a museum, the Pompeii museum, which according to the Google is a museum uh, at, that is at a former slave market. And I ordered a cheeseburger with fries and Chris has a hot dog and fries. Yep. We each ordered a soda. And we each got a soda. It came to $26. $26. So our total is, we have about 17 left to spend on souvenirs. After lunch, we walk through Pompey Square, which is named after a slave, Pompey. This slave led a group of 43 slaves in rebellion against their master in 1830 and helped to stop the transfer order of some 77 people, which would have separated men, women, and children from their families. We then set out to look around a little bit more.
Now it's time to find that souvenir so we can check that off our list. We made our way to the straw market, which has 400 vendors, so we really hoped that we could find something special. We looked around, but were overwhelmed by just how many things were available, and nothing frankly really caught our eye. We left the straw market a little disillusioned, but then happened across this street vendor who was hand painting small pictures. It was a slam dunk. We negotiated and came to terms on what we thought was a one of a kind memento for this trip. We really loved that this was hand painted and we got to see the artist at work while he was painting it. Plus we really love the fact that it shows all the beauty that Nassau is. So, did we make our budget? Yes, indeed we did. $50 all in for the day. We really enjoyed our day in Nassau and proved that you can indeed do this port stop on a budget and still have a wonderful time. Well, that's about all we could fit into today during our five hours in Nassau. We just touched the surface and we'll be back again to show you more budget-friendly tips while traveling. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to find out where we'll be wandering to next.